Yeah, dog. We got another Thrill Mouse video. This one is a long one. This one is about the ride. A lot of them are the ones I've been doing this whole week that I've been doing them for the first time. It's kind of like a destination type of thing, but really, we're just doing a, a pretty good long run. Ryan, you know, he's new to the Rikers still, so this would be a cool video where it's, you know, two Rikers at one time, which is, we've only done the one. Oh no, we did the night one, and the one where he picks it up, but this one is the first one where he has a helmet mounted camera. So basically it's just the one that I know the, the DJI DJI that I normally have mounted just there You can see the mounts on my handlebars. We put that one on his full face helmet And then I have the GoPro five sessions on my helmet. It came out pretty cool I mean you can still kind of see a difference in a way, but after a while it just all blended together I mean they're both good cameras. They're both in um, 2.7 K and 30 frames so I wanted to catch this in here because in a little bit Ryan does like this dodge on this rock right there and that's a pro move he did it like right between the front tire and the back tire and if you're not used to driving a Riker that's kind of a weird thing to do you drive a car you know you, you have it whatever the obstruction is go down the middle but that little in between is that's pro hey that was a that was a pro move on that rock back there Crazy. I saw it and then I was like, oh, I hope he knows to put it, you know what I mean? Like yeah. in between your wheels. But I saw it like before that and there wasn't any cars coming, so I just went around. It's huge. So Ryan's had his ride for like a few days and now he's teaching us how to ride it. So. But it's cool. Putting him to the test early on this little run we're doing. So the, the idea is we're going to go out to one that we normally do, like you saw in the video before this, I was talking about it when uh, I met Brian and his Honda Shadow over at Donut Crown. And we normally go there in the morning, like on Sundays, pretty early. Um, that's why you'll see me wearing long sleeves a lot. You know, I like to protect myself against the sun. I don't like weird stuff growing on me from the sun. Uh, also, it's still kind of cool in the morning in that last video. Uh, we meet up at Donut Crown and then shoot out, go down Lime Creek, which is a pretty cool run. Uh, and then we'll go to Hudson Bend and we'll fill our growlers up and usually come back. Sometimes we go to Point Venture also, which is the other side of Lake Travis. But in this video, we just do all of them. Uh, and most of the places that we normally would go to, they're, they're closed. There's a pandemic going on and everything. And that's cool. So this is kind of just like a run. He's never done it before and he's been stoked. So we didn't really let that stop us and just drove out there anyway. It's just kind of showing them the route. It's a drag that in this video, it's like a weekday. So there's not a lot of other cars running around like it was for that Donut Crown video with Brian. I wanted to show, well, when we make that one video I was talking about the last one where it shows mods and stuff. I put an extra foot peg and you probably noticed it already if you're into Rikers, but this is why I have it. Cattle guards, railroads, really we did a run and it was so many cattle guards and I just like to stand up a little bit on it. This is us turning on to Lime Creek if you're actually interested in knowing what we're talking about. But it's a pretty cool little county road as little route that takes you pretty much to you know to the lake it takes you around like Valente and then uh, Bullock Hollow I think is what it's called that takes you to Oasis if you're familiar with Austin and the lake then you've at least heard it once but this is kind of like twists and turns and things so I'm trying to capture it as much as I can in this video I'm um, pretty sure I mean the way people ride I mean it's a known thing like that gas station that we passed up on a weekend oh man there'd be like bikes filling up waiting for their homeboys and stuff like that to come running out here we saw a lot of that um, it wasn't on video for the donut crown one but when brian and i was talking it, w it was just slingshots and, and bikes and other rikers i shoot this little cup over at ryan i thought that was funny his foam cup but look at him he passed the test again dude he was ready for it that's hot man but twists and turns weird stuff there's like a little uh blue 
paint it turn and it, it creeps up on you. You gotta watch, there it is right there. You gotta watch out for it. So someone was kind enough to paint that little hazard, but it's like a big dip. The first time I did it, I had no idea what was coming at all. And I did pretty good on it. So that blue help, that blue paint definitely helped. And the second time, I actually forgot all about it too. Did not know it was coming, but I actually looked at the footage too, and I should have put it in there when Ryan, and Ryan did good too, and he had no idea. So that was definitely help uh, to paint that hazard, but just showing it. It started off on some good straights, and you can just see by the signs. The signs are just telling you there's some S's coming up, some turns coming up. But it's, it's a fun ride. On, on the weekends, you'll see like a cop just right there where we passed up. There's a little gravel area they're usually hanging tight but it's not just bikes there's like cars and little subarus cutting around the corner so you have to, definitely have to be careful stay in your lane there's some sharp turns but staying in your lane is probably going to be the best idea um some of it's kind of like a uphill type of a thing which is also pretty cool too in the riker but we just take this uh all the way to valente oh there's a bike right there it's like uh i didn't recognize it at first until Ryan tells me later on, but it was like a dirt bike type thing. But cool views like this is what you'll get on Lime Creek. Um, a lot of the water, and there you go, more S's, which is cool. The trees kind of make the turns kind of wicked because you really can't see around the corner. But you know that's kind of the thing that makes it fun, like it's a roller coaster type thing. Once you hit this little Valente area, that beach type lakefront just bust a left and then, then you take it out to Bullock Hollow. In this video I actually pass it up because I'm actually used to following a bunch of other people because it's normally busy and it's not a weekday but we turn around pretty easy. There's like a little gas station or something like that so but yeah this is I mean this is the video it was just filming this. Ryan gets to do it for the first time and, you know he was pretty stoked about it so it was a good idea. We end up doing this run and then he's he's not done for the day. He wants to ride some more, so we got to Point Venture also. Hi dad, I missed the turn. But how you like it? Dude, I loved it dude. That that one dude with the bright yellow on his dirt bike reminded me of Kill Bill. It was a dirt bike? I think it was a dirt bike. No. But look at the tape. I thought it was just like a sports bike. But let's just keep going that way and I'm pretty sure that's what takes us to Oasis. So. Yeah, missed the turn. It, it creeps up on you, but I actually forgot what it was even called. I just thought I'd feel it, but I didn't feel it until it was too late, especially to be stopping too short with Ryan following me behind. But it's kind of the same. I mean, you're just following the lake still, as you can see there on the right. I think they're actually calling this part like a river. I'm not sure, but it's also just a piece of the lake. This is pretty much the part that takes you straight to Oasis. A fellow biker right there, bike wave. He cool. He cool. Actually, yeah, on this video there are no, there's no wave distance, so we do good on this one. And that's also, this is always a cool view right here, just at the stop, because if you look forward, it's just straight blue water, which is pretty sweet. Especially right now, I think the water at an okay level to where it's real still but it looks like a, a cool blue which is nice oasis is closed at this time it's still pretty early and it is a weekday so we're experiencing this a lot in the video the different places we'd go to because normally when i do this run they would be with uh, brian and we'd pop out grab a sandwich or something or grab uh, i think maybe like this banana type margarita drink that slams uh, and we pop over by the, um, the good view off the edge it's like a balcony type scene that's pretty cool hang out there for a bit and grab a bite and then we head out to one of the breweries this kind of shows you here it's not where you park you actually park that parking garage that I pointed out before but this is actually where you walk to so you go to the entrance and you see it a cool area and there's normally like a whole bunch of people walking by just there 
This is a pretty funny bar too. We ran into this Harley. Nice Harley. You just riding? Yeah. You're just riding? Yeah. So I was seeing what's up, seeing if he was just riding around or he was, you know, had somewhere to go or whatever. I don't know how far he was going or, or where he was going. I wanted to link up and you can see in Ryan's mirror right there. I thought that guy was a, another biker with the with the old cat, and I was like, "Oh man, sweet, we're gonna have like uh, you know a group of four coming up." And I was like, "Oh man, that dude's hauling, dude. Are we supposed to be hauling right now?" And then I'm like, "No, nah, we're not supposed to be hauling. That's that's the pose." I thought that was funny, caught me weird. But this is the dam, which is pretty sweet. I wish I could get a better view off the left. There's a cool little bridge. And I think you can go down there. We might try to do it next time, but. Getting a cool shot at the dam is pretty sweet. Ryan gets a better one, I think, on the way back that I that I had in here. But it's kind of just the route that we take that we normally take to go to Infamous. And this place would be open uh, the time that we normally would go on a Sunday or, or a Saturday. They got like a little beer garden, but really, you know, still into the social distance and stuff. I really just pop out. We keep our helmets hey, you on. You saw that, that sheriff? Yeah, 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 yeah. Boy, he burnt me, man. I was just... <laughs> yeah, well, he goes. Well, there's that old man, right? Yeah. And I'm all like, hey, uh, I was like, hey, are you just riding? And he's like, yeah. I was like, all right, cool. And then the green light hit, and then I went. And then I looked back, and I saw like four. So I saw like three now you, the old man, and another one. I'm like, oh, he's rolling like two. Maybe we'll link up. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. <laughs> like, oh, shit, he's trying to, he's trying to leave. <laughs> and then he comes through the side with the shirt. I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He took off! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, was he gonna try to like set up a speed trap later down the road? So I was like real cautious about it. Yeah, here's that shot. Uh, Ryan did a good job on this one here. But just to the left, and there's actually another Riker group in, I don't know where they're based off, but somewhere in Austin, but they, they've messed around in Georgetown. They took some pictures down there in the group. I was like, oh man, that's where I go by. They say they do a run, something different though. I think they go to a place to eat out there. That's pretty cool, but that'll be cool to, to link up with some Rikers. I think it's I think it's spiders, but I think they have a Riker with them. But we gas up real quick. I actually, our cameras both die die at like the same time at this point. And I, th I guess I put that same shot in there two times, which is kind of weird, but I'm gonna let it flow. that's probably why our stuff does but get gas real quick I explained to Ryan that how to check his gas because I was thinking maybe you know his is a 2020 so I was like well, maybe so does your gauge read gauge right thing. or it's like mine I think it's like yours and he says it's the same thing and I ended up showing him I think I go over it again later that you can just press the bottom left button if you're looking at his gauge right there It'll actually tell you how many miles left you have. And that's gonna be like way more accurate than actually looking at the gauge. Cause you can drive forever if you're not familiar with Rikers or have one, of course, in this video, that the bar just does not go down. And you're like, how am I getting, oh man, this gets the best gas mileage. And then you end up figuring out that is not true because the bars, when they do go down, I mean, you're watching them like go down. So basically my thing is, is I drive until like I lose a bar or really like two bars, honestly. And then I just go fill it up. I'm just not down with, you know, any of my vehicles and stuff in, in the past. The ones I have now just, I don't like running it down. So especially something like this, that's so small and I want it to last forever. So I just don't mess around with it. But this is, this is pretty much the end as far as the point venture goes. We end it right here, the, the run, not the video, at this little waterfront right here. And I was telling him about it, and because I've only been here with Brian, and we had an idea. I was like, man, this has got to be a pretty sweet spot to swim because we were looking for something like that, like a cool little drive destination to get there throw some trunks on or come with trunks and just jump out in the water and just cool down. 
and then just head back. That's so awesome, man. This is like I wanted paradise. to check it out first and see if that's something we would, we'd want to do next time we come right out. Still feel kind of cool for what is it, like one. Your time works now. One fifteen. <laughs> Did you see what I was talking about with this button though to see the how much gas you actually have left? Fuel stat. Mileage remaining was one hundred seven. See, and this is where you take you back here. See, do on your Riker. Right. Back, back down here. Or once, once Sling Mod comes out with, uh, what do you call it, pontoon? The oh, yeah. the pontoon upgrade. It's only a matter of time. And Sling Mod makes it to where we can put some, some big flotation devices on the side. That come out and then you just take the racer down here. I mean, same engine as the same motor as the Sea Dew, same technology, just needs to float. Playing Mod is sleeping on that, dude. This was, last time I was down here, this was like the idea. It was like, see, those cats are doing it down there. So it's insane. But I don't remember it being, dude, it was so high, it was way low. It was like, water was right here last time. Man, really? Hell yeah, man. Uh, doing the Captain Morgan. Oh yeah, that, for some reason that's online a lot, man. Like Have you, you started to notice it? You said it and then I saw that that uh, that picture like right afterward. Like, <laughs> yeah, that one you sent me, she's like, like. On it like this or whatever? Yeah. We should do it and then actually dress like pirates. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it and come out here. Like park it right here. That would be a hit uh, thing, you know. Park them right here facing this way. Like park it right here. That would be a hit uh, thing, you know. Park them right here facing this way when the light's real good. And then take a picture with the water in the background. And then we'll just wear pirate hats and beards and shit. I would do that. And a parrot. I already call the parrot. Yeah, we don't even have to, and yeah, I could always Photoshop on other stuff if we don't have all that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll just Photoshop the whole thing, dude. <laughs> Except for the parrot. The, because the a parrot, the parrot, to manage a parrot and train him to sit on my shoulder is easier than finding a fake beard and a fake coat and Much boots better. and things like that. So, I'll take care of the parrot. You just Photoshop. They're flying around. And that's pretty much it. After that, we just ride back. I mean, I think we figure out that that's the spot. And for swimming, you know, it's a cool ride because it gives us like a cool destination to hop out. And those people pretty much had the same idea. There was no one swimming there last time. And I was like, this, this is a good idea. And it seemed like I really had to convince Brian. He's like, well, maybe next time. So next time we'll get some swim, get our dad bods out there on our Rikers and, and, and do a little something. Thanks.